Hi everybody, welcome to Vickyville. Thank you for being here. Uh, happy Thursday and crafty Thursday. Sorry, I didn't make it last Thursday. I was probably busy. I don't even remember. I think I was at the Stony Clover event in downtown. No, that was Friday. I think I was, I think I was maybe at Disneyland. I don't remember. But anyways, I, um, I'm glad to be back. I'm telling you, I'm trying my hardest to keep the schedule of Tuesday more fashion, um, Thursday more crafting and in between, you know, and it just, it's fun to do. I love doing it and I hope that you are enjoying it. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, I, I enjoy reading all of your comments and, um, I would really love to grow my channel. So if you have any friends or family or anything that, you know, might like some of the same things that, uh, we're into, like, if you could tell them about me, that'd be awesome. I would love you forever. But let me go ahead and get right into what I've been loving. So, so far. Okay. So I'm, I literally started a TikTok yesterday. I know I'm late to the game. I don't even really know what I'm doing, but I thought, why not just throw up a TikTok and, and it's, you know, like another thing for, to have fun. And so I have been watching though since I would probably say December and somebody was posting that they at Target or I got this at Hot Topic, they have, you know, the little surprise packages. I used to like love when they would have like Harry Potter or whatever. Well, they have, you can get a Disney princess poster or like a little, um, like a figurine. And I was hoping my, the one that I wanted so bad was Cinderella. Cause that's my favorite princess. And my daughter picked it out. My daughter, Juliet, and dude, I got Cinderella. <laughs> so it's so cute. It's like a vintage movie poster. I would love to get all of them, but I'm telling you, I can't find them that, that much. So they're at in those surprise packages, I believe they're like $8.99, um, but so cute. So I was so happy to get that. I also, I <laughs> had passed this up several times because I was like, I do not, obviously, I don't need anything else, but how cute is this rainbow plate and then like a little cupcake stand for from Target. They were $3 each in that spritz um, brand. They had like bunny plates and stuff too, but I thought this would be so cute to like, you know, post um, pictures of my crafting and stuff. So I went back after like the fourth time and I was like, Vicki, just get it. You've been thinking about it for so long. So you'll be seeing a lot more posts on those two things. Okay, the first thing I wanted to talk about is this die that I love. It is from Sizzix. It's the, one of the, you know, bigs, yeah, the bigs, I think, and it's called Scandy Bear, and it's Sizzix number 664463, and it's so cute. I wish I had the picture, but I took out the trash, so I will show you what it comes out to, but this I got from Amazon. I think it's like $19.99 or something like that, um, but I love it. It's so cute, and I saw somebody making something with it and that's why I wanted to get it on Instagram. I think they showed it and I love dyes. Sometimes when I just don't want to like, you know, I want to get my creative juices flowing, but I kind of don't want to like um do something really like a big project. I love just to get a die and start cutting so then I can have it for like happy mail or scrapbook pages or whatever. And so this is uh the how cute the bears. I'm going to show you just this is just the simple bear. So that's what it cuts out. So cute. And I doubled, I doubled the cardstock. So I cut him out twice so it could be thicker just in case it, I wanted to make it like a bookmark or like even a dashboard in my plan or something like that. So I did that for all of the ones I'm going to show you, but they are so cute. I've made all kinds of different ones. Um, let me show you the girls first. So here's that one. Here's this one, and here is this one. So I made those three bears, okay? It's the same die, but then I used Social Paper Plans die. Comes like this, so cute. And so you see the little Mickey, or the little mini um, ears there? 
That is, I got them from, what's the other one? This die, because I have two of them. And it's so cute for this bear. And it comes like that. And so you, imagine you're on your memory planning or your scrapbook. This die is so cute. There's the ears and then the bow and you can use it in any combination. And that's what I did for these little girls. And I, I love them, but for they, the bear's head's a little bit, you know, um, wider. And so I added these cute little bows in between from the Paper Studio Hobby Lobby. And it kind of, it kind of filled in that space but I thought it was still super cute. So I could add this to my, my Disney pages. Oh, somebody's calling me. Sorry, that was, that was weird. That's never happened before. Okay, so these were the girls. And then let me show you the boys because I think these turned out so cute. I wanna make a ton more of these. Um, but here are, this is the other die that um, she has, Social Paper Plan. And look at how cute. I just, so cute. The little, can you see that? The little Mickey hat there. And that die looks like this. And then it has the little centerpiece. I can't find it, so. Ah. But, um, and it cuts out the little, so you could make it match the scarf. You could even get creative and do like a, a t-shirt or like a little skirt. I mean, there's so many possibilities with this really cute, die and it's so simple and so fun and so yeah i'm like i'm seriously loving these these little guys these little bears so cute and i love the social paper plan dies that fit on that and give it that disney touch okay what's another thing i wanted to share with you guys for my crafting video how is everybody doing i hope you guys are getting a lot of crafting just um well i'm trying to i think i'm gonna show you my um my new platter uh, so I'll, sh I'll do the camera facing down, but, uh, yesterday I have been really busy, uh, just, you know, my, just running everywhere, being like the Uber driver for my family. Uh, but I was able to catch so many lives. It was so much fun. Okay. First off, I started with the fairy tale club. Oh my gosh. She has a new Encanto line that I want so bad. It's so cute. It's Encanto inspired. So the paper is so festive and like really, I'm thinking that I can use it for all my Cinco de Mayo pictures. That would be awesome. So I'm definitely going to pre-order that because the pre-order is on sale now. So I got to, I got to get that. And then after that, I went to Christian's Crafty Adventure with Rachel and that is late at night. So I, I like really had a fun time because I am crafting sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I'm, I can stay awake, which Lately isn't that often because I'm getting old and I really can't stay up that late. And then I went to bed and then my friend, uh, Veronica of Lulu's, gosh, what is her name? Lulu's, Lulu's Crafty Life or something. I'm sorry, Veronica. But she was posting a live of her haul from um, Hot Topic and Claire's, I think. And I was like, oh my gosh, I am just like, a, you know, filling this lives. And, and what was funny was yesterday, my friend Tina and I, Social Paper Plan, we did our very first live showing our Stony Clover haul, our Stony Clover, Clover Target collab haul. So uh, I hope you're able to see that. I, I tried to repost it from her post from Instagram. So if you want to see it, you can follow her on Instagram. I think she posted the full thing. I could only post like a picture of it. So if I'm thinking I may still do a, um, a video on my own personal, um, haul. So if you want to see that, I know that the line goes on sale tomorrow or April 2nd. So Saturday. So I'm not sure yet if I'm going to get more because I just like, I, I like so many things. <laughs> I'm thinking I might want the fairy tale club a little more because I got a lot from Stone Clover, but you know what? I probably will. So we'll see. But, um, I just, I love crafting guys. And I know that if you're watching this, I hope that you're enjoying. Let me know in the comments below. What are you working on? What are you a planner girl, a scrapbooker, a card maker? I know I need to get like, I've been planning a lot. Last month I was doing a lot of scrapbooking. This month I really want to make cards. And my friend, I really want to shout her out right now because she just sent me the cutest 
card, my birthday is coming up and she's so awesome. She remembers me so much. And Annette, you just always make my day. My birthday is April 7th. So she sent me this happy birthday card and look at that background. I'm gonna have to ask her what stamp set this is, what stencil or um, die that is in the background because I'm feeling that. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna point down. I'm gonna show you my new planner that I've wanted for so long. And then I'm going to, hopefully this weekend, or I'm gonna show you my new Echo Park um, subscription. But I think, I don't want this video to be too long, so I'll film that sometime tomorrow or on the weekend. So that's coming up. But thank you for being here. I know what, I haven't even had coffee yet. <laughs> Okay, love you guys. Thank you for being here. All right, bye. Oh, I'm gonna show you my planner now. Okay, so here is my craft room. I just wanted to share my um, backdrop in my craft room. I, you know, I always like to decorate for the different month uh, theme. And this year I kind of went with the Easter, a little more subdued and um, spring colors. So starting over here, it's just my same regular setup with that's like stuff that I use for um, planner charms or planner bows. That's my Bible journal. Um, but I did find these uh, Riley and Company, a uh, little Riley the Moose, and then uh, Easter card kits. So I'm definitely gonna make those. So that was a fun find. I tell you, coming in here sometimes is like. I can't remember what I've bought and then I find it and it's like Christmas all over again. Uh, just added my friend Becca made that for me, Inspire and Create on Instagram. So cute. And I just gathered some of the items that while I'm crafting, it's like, you know, Eastery. I have more, but I'm like I said, I can't find it. This summer, one of my major projects that I'm going to work on is like really getting everything together in my craft room. Um, these are just some little erasers that I had that last year I saw everybody making charms out of and so I wanted to give it a try and then I never did so I maybe I will revisit that. This is a six by six doodle bug and that one is called hippity hoppity. That's doodle bug hippity hoppity. I've been working on some Easter things that I will show you in a little bit and so that's really fun like you know I love to decorate with my Starbucks cups and so I pulled out all of some of my like pastel colors so I think those are so cute right there they're so pretty I love it and then these are my cute little churros that have already been to Disneyland I have one more but actually it's my daughter's so I think she took it back that's my little straw Cinderella um high heel straw topper that I love. There's my little fairy tale purse, the Alice in Wonderland. I just brought out some of my um, pastel crepe paper and you know, just, I always, so what I put behind me is things that I could easily grab. So like in here, I pulled all my yarn, uh, my tooling that is pastel, um, like, you know, some of my, what are those called? <laughs> You know, what I, you know what they're called. Uh, that cute little llama there my daughter bought for me. And my friend Tina gave me this uh, Happy Planner mug recently. So, yeah, I just like to pull things that I can, you know, while I'm crafting, just easily get while I'm sitting at my craft desk. Or just things that make me happy and are in the color scheme of the current month. So, as right now, April is... Easter, spring, and I love all the pastel. So, okay, let me show you what else. Okay, so here is my planner, and you might say, okay, Vicki, you have a planner. You have your Erin Condren, and yes, I do have that one. This is going to be more for, like, my Bible journaling, more personal, just, like, maybe almost like a diary, I think. Um, but the reason why I'm so excited about this is because it is the like Louis Vuitton knockoff. I've been waiting for this for like two years and I remember when it was really popular. I'm real late to the game but I remember trying to get it, trying to get it, trying to get it and it was sold out like all the time and so I uh, might 
my daughter gave me a gift card to Amazon and I was thinking, what can I buy that I wouldn't buy for myself normally? And I was, I, so it just popped into my head. I'm like, just try to see if that planner is available. And you guys, oh my gosh, it was. And so I threw in, I don't know if you could see this right here, but this is like a little, is this Gucci or Louis Vuitton? Louis Vuitton, right? It's a Louis Vuitton little knockoff little change purse, but I think it looks so cute once once it's closed. I'll show you that at the end. Um, it it's so cute. I just love this little this little guy here. He's like a little owl. But can you see that? I don't know if I'm in frame. Let me see. Okay, so there's that. Uh, I use the Doodle Bug line for this April setup because this is for April. And these are just some little fun things that I, you know, was playing with. Uh, so this is um, my planner setup for April. What, what am I talking about? I just said that. <laughs> Sorry. But I just think it's so cute. I love the colors. It's so pastel. I know that probably if it were a Louis Vuitton, I, I, you'd probably want it, the layout to be more subdued. That's just not me. <laughs> I'm never going to be subdued. So... Uh, I just added, these are just little planner clips that I had in my stash. And then right here, I kind of made this just a little, like a little flip. And this is my friend Tina and I, when we went to the Stony Clover event, I love these photos. It was so cool in downtown LA at the row. And so, and then there's me in front of their giant boom box that they had. So I just put happy memories. And like I said, it's just going to be, this is going to be just for me, like where I can write down like prayer requests, things like that, you know, that are more personal. But I just added some ephemera and, you know, things that I can work on while I'm at Starbucks or whatever. I made this little, uh, like a little with my washi that I have here. And I just made a little card. So I always love to put washi on each page. And so, yeah, just I throw in things that I could glue um, to my planner pages when I'm not at home sitting at my craft desk. So that's what this is all for right here. And this little clip here is so cute. It's not like Eastery, but it is pastel. And that's all that I care about. <laughs> so just added some pom-poms on the side. And yeah, I'm loving that. Oh, what I wanted to show you. So let me go ahead and put that to the side really fast. So I could show you that my sister Nancy came over. Hi Nancy, if you're watching. And she taught Juliet, my daughter Juliet and I, how to make these planner clips. And you guys, I am obsessed. Me and Juliet cannot wait to make so many more. So this is the theme. Just think about this right here. And I'll show you my Erin Condren planner but just think, look at these colors. What do you think that's going to be? And that one's going to be like um, about my birthday. So this planner is Easter and that one is about my birthday. I just added this planner um, clip here to the side of my planner, but I made this one as well. And it is so cute. Nancy, let me um, go into her stash of all her little charms. And I chose all those and I thought they were so cute and pastel. A little teapot, a little coffee mug, a little kitty, a little ice cream. Of course, I had to throw in a little Disney hat. And then this little star cloud something rainbow. I just love it. She made me this one. This was so cute. And I'm going to add it to this planner as well. It has a little rainbow. And then she even put in my name there, Vicky. So, so cute. I... I'm obsessed and I will definitely be making more to share with you on those. So I guess I'll put that there. And then here is my planner when it's all closed. And look at that, you guys. I finally got it after two years. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I'll come back on hopefully maybe tomorrow or the next day and show you my Echo Park unboxing of my new kit or subs subscription box 
for the month, okay? So thank you guys for watching. Always remember, Vickyville loves you. I, I can't even do it anymore. Vickyville loves you, and keep it crafty. Bye!